Congratulations. We're going to begin right away over here to your right with questions. Hi, Celeste. How is my doll the next? Congratulations. Obviously, defense is such a critical part of the game that you've played, you know, both in college and obviously as a carrying tool here. Can you take me through your defensive evolution and sort of where that came from? Yeah, I mean, I started off just being an athletic girl, um, wanting to play hard, run around, had a high motor. And so that kind of took me, you know, pretty far. Um, and I realized that that was something that was going to get me on the court, doing those little things, um, taking charges. And then once I got to high school, my coach told me, if you can guard multiple positions, you know, you're going to play. And so I think I carried that with me a lot of time. And then as I got into college, I started to watch film. I started to watch my opponents and learn different defensive schemes and, and all that stuff. And so, I mean, it's been a journey, but, you know, it's been a great journey. Uh, Celeste staying on the right, second row. Hi, Celeste. Jackie Powell with the next. Congratulations. I'm curious if you can take us through what you remember about the WNBA growing up and how do you think its perception in, in the popular culture has changed since then? Yeah, I actually am um, from New York. And so I used to go to Liberty games growing up. Um, I was a ball girl a couple, couple of times. So, you know, I've, I've been around the W for, for a little bit. Um, and so, you know, being able to, you know, purchase tickets to sit front row, um, you know, seeing that, you know, they were giving out free tickets at, at one point, you know, for, for girls to come in and, you know, just have, just have a crowd um, to now playing in, you know, against Iowa and, you know, selling out our crowd at home. I mean, just to see that evolution in that aspect. And then now, you know, I haven't been to that many, but I think I went to one of the playoff games with the Liberty last year. Um, so, I mean, just to see that in itself, I mean, being a young girl, thinking that the stadium was so huge to coming in there and like, oh, you've played in stadiums like this, but now it's filled up, it's filled to the top. I think it's just great. It's great to show people that once you invest in women, that they can give back in a lot of ways. Celeste, all the way to your left in the second row. Celeste, when you were at Lutheran, was there any way that you could have envisioned that you would be here on this night? And what what is, does it mean to you, you know, to be here? And what does it mean to you to, you know, be Clark's teammate? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I didn't. I did not envision this. Um, not because. I didn't think I was capable because I didn't know. Um, I think honestly, until I was in maybe about ninth grade, my freshman year of high school, you know, I had to learn the path that it took to get to the W. I was around it, but I didn't know, you know, the path that it took to get there. And when, once I learned that, you know, these colleges come and you get a free education and you get to experience so many different things, you know, I've had the opportunity to play on USA teams. And so just for me, I mean, just understanding everything that comes with it. Um, and I didn't expect to be here, but I'm here. Um, and I am so excited that, you know, Indiana has taken the the opportunity at me. And I played with Caitlin when I was uh, at USA's for a couple of years. So um, we played together there, but, you know, from going against her this year to being able to play with her um, and also Leah Boston as well. I mean, it, it, it brings me some comfort, honestly, um, but very excited and so proud of what they've done and how they've grown as well. All right, Celeste, we're going to turn to Zoom for a little bit. We're going to start with the Columbus Dispatches. Brianna. Hi, Celeste. Um, I know you've said multiple times it was a tough decision to decide to come to Ohio State instead of going to the draft. But now that you're here and you took that season and you're in this spot, do you just feel like it's worth it? And a second part to ask question, was it like now that you're going to play with Kelsey Mitchell, who also played at Ohio State? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was definitely a tough decision last year for me, but I told people that I would never, I would never trade the decision I made to go to Ohio State. I think it has brought me so much peace in who I have become um, as a player and the impact that I can make in any program that I choose, you know, to, or organization that I, I have the opportunity to be a part of. And so just having that, you know, mindset and going into Ohio State, um, and coming in and realizing that I can make a little impact. I'm not here to change anything, but I'm just here to sprinkle a little of me in there and, and try to impact in any way that I can um, is really helpful. And then, yeah, playing against, playing with Caitlin now um, is, is honestly really cool. You know, we've had the opportunity, like I said, to have that sell, sold out crowd um, at our place and then going to her place and having that last regular season home game for them. Um, 
I mean, just having the opportunity to play with her again um, is going to be amazing. And she's done so much for the women's game. And I know she has so much more to, to give um, to everyone. So just, just a lot of excitement. So let's go stay on Zoom for a little bit. We're going to go with Lois. Lois, you're up. You can be followed by G. Lois, I feel like we've been on a journey since high school. So the question I have to ask you is, uh, how do you hope that your extensive experience with USA basketball has perhaps made you even more pro ready? Yeah, I mean, obviously, adaptability is definitely a big thing. Um, being able to go to a different country, adapt to the environment, adapt to the culture. Um, and then overseas is definitely a, a different way to play ball. I mean, they play ball pretty differently there. And so just having that prior experience, I mean, I know there's a, a lot of people in the W who are from overseas. And so just having that prior experience, I mean, even playing with the, the caliber of players that I've played with, I think all in all, everything together, you know, has helped me become the player I am today. And, you know, I'm very hopeful and very uh, confident that it, it will help me um, in the W. At times, some of the players you played against when you were at an overseas tournament were already professional players. So you've had a bit of taste of pro basketball since the start of college, really. So do you feel that your makes you more ready for physicality or different styles of play or, or even really a pro level of play? Yeah, I think pro level play would probably be the best one. Um, you know, it's just it's just pretty different. You know, they're used to playing against grown women. Um, they're used to that physicality. So I think altogether, you know, it has helped me in many facets of my of the game of basketball. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're gonna to go to G. G, you're gonna be followed by Dan. G, you're up. Hi, Celeste. Uh, congrats. Um, first of all, I mean, last week you talked to us about how excited you were to go to the league and some players you mentioned you you wanted to play against, Kelsey Plum, Clay Copper, Diana Tarasi. How how excited are you? to actually be playing and have the ability to play against them now? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really focused on, you know, trying to make the team, obviously. Um, that's, that's the first step is going into it and having confidence in myself and, you know, trying to make that. And, you know, if I do and when I do get the opportunity to play against them, um, I think it's just going to be such a surreal feeling. I'm, I'm there to compete. You know, I'm there. I'm there to try to make a roster spot and I'm trying to stay in the league. And so I think a lot of it is just, you know, a lot of it's excitement, surreal, because I've seen them play. You know, I was younger watching them play, but definitely very competitive and, you know, just excitement. And just one more Dan, for you. You're up. We've, we've seen you play so much this season, and we've, we've covered you all season. What do you want other fans, and, and especially the Fever fans, to know? What do you want them to know about your play style, especially like three-level scoring, et cetera? Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, very, very big defensive minded kid. Um, but at the same time, I'm willing to do whatever it is that a team needs me to do. I'm willing to come in there and impact. I'm really big on community. And so just getting my hand in the community and continuing to be who I am and continuing to make an impact in every stop that I've had. All right, Dan, now you're up. Hi, Celeste. Did you get to know Kelsey Mitchell at all during your year at Ohio State? And what's it like just to be joining a team where you're going to be playing with another Buckeye? Yeah, um, I didn't have the opportunity to really, really get to know her when I was recruited by Ohio State coming out of high school. She was there. Um, so I got to see her on my visits a couple of times. Um, that was probably the biggest interaction, but, you know, very hands on, very big about, you know, coming to be a Buckeye. And I think it's kind of you know, interesting that that was the school that I was looking at coming out of high school. I ended up finishing my college career there and now I get to play with a Buckeye. Um, so I think that's also going to give me some comfortability. She's a great player um, and so much I can learn from her. So I'm just ready to go in there to work and continue to learn 